This week, WildernessTV.com meet up with our friends from Real Deal Anglers in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, after cutthroat and brown trout. The weather has just turned horrendous. It's going to make for some extreme WildernessTV.com fishing. We are at uh, what we call Cottonwood Lake in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Okay, and uh, good fishing conditions? Well, maybe not the most ideal, but uh, not abnormal for a Jackson Hole uh, day in mid-October. So what sort of uh, fly fishing are we going to be doing today? Yeah, so as you see the top of the water is very still and uh, we'd like to throw deep sinking streamers. Uh, this is what we call the white domagala olive, um, tied or invented by a guy out of Montana and uh, improved upon by my friend Bob Canella. So we're going to strip sinking line Stripping the flies through the bottom of the, of, yeah, probably at anywhere from uh, 15 to 30 feet in depth and uh, stripping it and should see some good hits today from these uh, cutthroat trout. My name is Alan Riley. Uh, work for Real Deal Anglers here in Jackson. Um, here's a couple streamers we got here. You can use these on lakes and rivers. Um, Imitate bait fish, crawfish, minnows, baby trout. Let's see what we're gonna go with here today. So, is there a, a good advantage fishing with a with couple people so you can try different methods? Yeah, you can try works? different colors, different imitations, and try to figure out what works. Uh, looks like Jason had a white fly on there. Is that right? Yeah. So I might go with something a little bit darker darker body like this black one um, this is a six weight rod um, you can typically for trout go four five six um, since we're throwing bigger bugs and targeting bigger fish here want something with a little bit a little stiffer rod this is a nine and a half foot six weight um, also good for nymphing having that extra six inches of rod tip helps mending and um, especially with deeper nymph rigs. Mending allows your flies to float down first as opposed to um, not mending where your fly line would be ahead of your flies and it creates a drag on your flies and they're unnatural. You want your flies floating in the water, you know, whether it be dry flies or nymphs. You know, mending is a technique that allows us to keep the bugs looking natural and floating natural in the current. People should come to Jackson Hole, Wyoming and the surrounding area to fly fish because it is one of the best destinations on earth to come fly fishing. Um, there's such a wide variety of the types of fly fishing you can do and fishing in general and it's especially beautiful. You have the national parks, the Grand Teton mountain range and just an overall really great experience uh, in connecting with nature. Um, you can float down the rivers on a drift boat, go hiking, um, up to mountain streams and um, catch a wide variety of trout, cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, brown trout and um, boy it's just one of the best places in the world you can come and go fly fishing. The prime time to fish is probably anywhere between June and September. Um, you can really depend on pretty good weather during that time of year and um, you get such a good variety of hatches throughout the season. You get great dry fly fishing from the spring all the way until the fall. As you can see, the conditions are less than ideal. With frozen fingers wondering, does anybody make decent fly fishing gloves? Jason, Alan and myself battle on in the worsening conditions. At least with lure fishing, it's quite a physical sport, constantly casting and stripping, which helps keep the body just that little bit warmer. target several different locations around the lake trying to spot these beautiful cutthroat trout in the crystal clear water of Cottonwood Lake. <laughs> well if you're coming out here as a novice um, probably the best thing to do is 
go into a couple of the lo town's local fly shops and you can certainly pick up quite a bit of information on how to get started on some of the streams around here just in the fly shop. Uh, the guys are real helpful around town and um, you know they can kind of guide you in the right direction and get you out the door with uh, the right flies I think as well. If it's your, really your first time uh, coming out here and, and, and one of the best ways to get familiarized with a piece of water is to go with someone that fishes it often and with uh, the amount of time we spend on these rivers we can teach you so much in a single day and just give you really some great tips to take on down the stream with you when you're on your own and on to, into the rest of your uh, lifetime of fishing. See football sized cutties like I was saying. So what have we got there then? Explain to your... Uh, native cutthroat trout, Snake River cutthroat, out of Cottonwood Lake. Absolutely beautiful fish, yeah, aren't they? they are gorgeous, aren't they? Cool. It's definitely about enjoying your surroundings. Most mornings of the year I wake up to go fly fishing and I, I have just such an excitement about me, no matter what. Even if I know I'm not going to a place where there might be the biggest fish. It's all about getting out there and enjoying the outdoors, the adventure of it. There's so many things you get out of fly fishing. All of this water in this lake is fed by Fish Creek. Fish Creek's a spring creek that comes right out of Teton Village, right over here, just a quarter of a mile away. And and uh, so the the. The nutrients in this in this lake are as, are as, you know, um, the nutrients in the lake are as good as they can be. It's it's all Spring Creek water that feeds the lake, and all these fish are native fish that are free to swim in and out, and have access to um, Fish Creek and the lake. And so, it's really truly unique to have such a, a body of water on a golf course that. Uh, you know, it's self-sustaining and, you know, not stocked with all these fish you're going to see today hooked up and brought to the boat. Or... Uh, today was uh, definitely dealing with the elements. Um, we actually just got our first major snowfall of the season uh, in the last couple days. And there's nothing like getting out there and throwing a fly in the, in the uh, cold Wyoming air with the snow coming down. and. The uh, ground's covered in snow around you and um, still saw some nice fish. Didn't hook into all the nice fish we saw, but we saw some great fish today. As the weather continued to get still worse, a shivery Nicky, a wet-footed cameraman and a very fogged camera lens decided to call it a day and head to the pub for a quick drink to warm up and make plans for tomorrow's adventure with Real Deal Anglers.